Greetings everyone, my name is Sean Van De Veen. Before I get into the heart of this video, I feel the need to give my own disclaimer. I am not a mystic scholar, nor do I claim to be an enlightened spiritual guru or sage. I am merely presenting my own thoughts of what I am about to discuss with the audience. This presentation will require extreme open-mindedness on the viewer's part. What I am about to share with you are highly advanced spiritual notions of how reality can define one's nature. If you do not wish to proceed, please stop watching. In this video, I want to talk about a rather very controversial philosophical topic, one in which if someone openly preaches its teachings, they could easily be branded narcissistic by others. But that's the key word, other. Do others in the mind of a solipsist really exist? I've been very curious about the whole concept of solipsism myself for a little while now. And now I'd like to share my thoughts on this with you. Solipsism is fundamentally the belief that one's own mind is the only conscious entity in all of existence. And anything external within their surroundings is just another reflection of themselves. Basically, one is convinced that they are the epicenter of the entire universe. There may be a particular God consciousness within the matrix of self-deceptive constructs and illusions. It is only after much self-inquiry and reaching the highest levels of enlightenment that one begins to wonder if they really are a singular entity within a small bubble. But if solipsism is real, how can it be? Anybody watching this video could easily lay claim that they're the only conscious beings, much like I can. The only way for certain, I feel, that one could lay claim to this notion is if they knew for a fact that they were the last person alive on Earth. If the rest of all animate life on this planet became extinct, he or she could definitely say they were the only conscious beings. However, our planet will still be teeming with life for millions of years to come even if there happens to be apocalyptic nuclear Armageddon. Anybody familiar with the philosophy of solipsism can make the case that they're the one and only. As you're already beginning to understand, no wonder this can quickly generate heated arguments. The discussion of solipsism can really turn people off. It takes a radically open mind to engage in conversation about it. I'd say there's a certain connotation with non-duality to solipsism. To experience it, one must eliminate all ideas of what they've been taught through hearsay, what they've learned in school, in college, and whatever, whatever they were taught to believe. To immerse in non-duality, one can just sit around and observe their immediate surroundings with no thoughts rushing through their minds, just wondering who they really are within this cosmic void. God realization, in my opinion, is possible, but it takes much focus and many years of self-inquiry. Anybody determined to seek the truth can achieve this, but even among the most spiritually awake, there will always be a sense of other. According to wikipedia.org, solipsism is defined as the philosophical idea that only one's mind is sure to exist. As an epistemological position, solipsism holds that knowledge of anything outside one's own mind is unsure. The external world and other minds cannot be known and may not exist outside the mind. The word solipsism is derived from Latin with the prefix solus meaning alone and the suffix eeps, meaning self. So literally, one can believe they're alone by themselves. Many teachings of Buddhism and Hinduism, particularly Advaita, allude to solipsism. A prime analogy of these are the dreams that we have while we sleep. Just like in our sleep, we are living a dream in our waking state within this dimension of reality. Is that what our so-called reality is? Just a dream? Are we just imagining everyday life within the matrix, destined to realize 
what we truly are? Are we an eternal soul living in earthly human existence, having to repeat it over and over for all of eternity? Is death just an illusion? These are just some of the many questions solipsism generates. If nothing exists externally, how could another claim they're the so-called one and only? A particular case I'd like to point out is a video made from a spiritual teacher by the name of Leo Gura. He has his own YouTube channel called Actualize.org, and in one of his videos, entitled Nothing Exists But You, he claims to be the only being in existence, yet mentions that it is possible for the viewer themselves to verify that they are actually indeed the only conscious beings in the universe. Now, how is that possible? How can one so-called external entity say that they are the one true being, yet suggest to another that they too can make the same distinction through intense self-inquiry? It's a stark contradiction. It may seem very egotistical on Leo's part. However, he is alluding to the basic paradox of life itself, that in the absolute sense, we are nothing yet everything. An individual may not be able to experience consciousness externally, but to keep the illusion of reality smooth, he or she must interact with so-called others as if they were separate entities. What do you think? Is solipsism real? Are you yourself the entire universe where everything and everyone is just another version of you? Is solipsism the pinnacle of enlightenment or just some theory proposed by ancient sages and philosophers? Either way, it seems to be a mystical force intriguing to the radically open-minded seeker of truth. So these have been my thoughts on solipsism. Be sure to like and comment below. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. I have amazing spiritual content to share with everyone. So I thank you for watching and keep seeking higher knowledge and truth.